Imagine a classroom where students are engaged, learning is interactive, and technology seamlessly enhances the teaching experience. Sounds ideal, right? But how do we make this a reality in technical vocational education and training, TVET? Before we dive in, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you never miss out on our future videos. This helps me grow the channel and bring you more valuable content. Technology is transforming education, but for vocational education teachers, the challenge is not just about using new tools. It's about integrating them effectively to enhance practical hands-on learning. Whether you want to improve student engagement, streamline assessments, or make your lessons more interactive, the right tech solutions can make all the difference. In this session, we'll explore effective technology integration strategies to help you create a more engaging, efficient, and future-ready learning environment for your students. Let's start by looking at the key areas of tech integration in TVET. 1. Learning Management Systems, LMS. Managing courses, assignments, and student progress manually can be overwhelming. That's where a LMS comes in. Example. Moodle is a popular open-source LMS that allows you to create structured courses, manage student interactions, and track performance. Google Classroom is also a simple yet effective platform for organizing lessons, distributing assignments, and providing real-time feedback. An LMS helps vocational educators save time, stay organized, and provide students 24-hour access to learning materials. 2. Digital Assessment Tools Assessing practical skills and theoretical knowledge is crucial to vocational education. Digital assessment tools streamline this process, providing instant feedback and tracking progress. Example, Kahoot. It is a gamified quiz platform to make assessments more engaging. These tools help you assess students effectively while reducing your workload. 3. Interactive learning platforms. Vocational education students learn best through hands-on experience. Interactive learning platforms bring practical skills to life, making learning more immersive. Example, AutoCAD and SolidWorks are essential for students in the engineering and design fields, as they provide real-world simulation tools. Labster is a virtual lab simulation tool that allows science students to perform experiments online. By incorporating these tools, students practice and experiment in a risk-free environment, crucial for hands-on learning. 4. Accessibility Tools Inclusive education is key. Accessibility tools ensure that every student has an equal learning opportunity, regardless of their abilities. Example, Microsoft Immersive Reader helps students with dyslexia and reading difficulties by reading text aloud and breaking it down visually. Otter.ai is a speech-to-text tool that transcribes lectures for students who need additional support. Using accessibility tools ensures that all students can fully participate in learning, making vocational education more inclusive and effective. Let's discuss how to integrate these tools into your teaching effectively. Here are four practical steps to ensure smooth and meaningful integration. Step 1. Evaluate suitable tools. Not every tool will fit your teaching style or subject area. It's important to choose the right technology based on your specific needs. Consider the following when selecting a tool. Relevance. Does it align with your subject and learning objectives? Ease of use. Is it user-friendly for both you and your students? Accessibility. Does it support students with different learning needs? Cost and sustainability. Is it free, affordable, or provided by your institution? Example, a simulation tool like Autodesk Fusion 360 might be more useful than a general learning app if you teach automotive mechanics. The key is to test the tool before introducing it to your students. Step 2. Design inclusive and engaging activities. Once you have the right tools, the next step is to create activities that are interactive, inclusive, and practical. Ways to make activities engaging. Use gamified quizzes, e.g. Kahoot or quizzes, to check understanding in a fun way. Create collaborative projects where students work on shared documents or presentations. Incorporate virtual simulations for practical learning, e.g. Labster for science or VR welding simulators. Step 3. Implement in lesson plans. The next challenge is embedding technology seamlessly into your lesson plans rather than using it as an add-on. This includes set clear learning objectives. Technology should enhance the lesson, not replace traditional methods. Balance tech with hands-on activities. Blend digital tools with physical tasks for practical work. Provide structured guidance. Train students on how to use the tools before diving into lessons. Start small, then expand. 
introduce one tool at a time to avoid overwhelming yourself and your students. Example, if you're teaching electrical installation, you can first explain concepts using a traditional whiteboard, then shift to an interactive circuit simulator like Tinkercad to allow students to visualize real-world applications. Step 4. Measure Effectiveness and Adapt Technology should not just be used for the sake of it, it must add value. Regularly evaluating its impact ensures you're on the right track. Ways to measure success. Student engagement levels. Are they more involved in lessons? Performance improvements. Are students demonstrating better understanding and skills? Feedback collection. Ask students about their experience using digital tools. Ease of use. Is it making your teaching more efficient or creating extra work? Example. Use Google Forms to get anonymous student feedback on how helpful a tool is. If engagement is low, adjust your approach or try a different tool. However, integrating technology in education isn't just about using new tools. It's also about using them responsibly and safely. As vocational educators, we must ensure our students develop digital citizenship skills, respect data privacy, and stay safe online. For example, 1. Promote digital citizenship. Students must understand that technology use comes with responsibilities. Digital citizenship teaches them how to navigate the online world ethically and safely. Key principles of digital citizenship include respect for others online, encourage responsible communication and discourage cyberbullying, understanding digital footprints, teach students that what they post online stays online, verifying online information, help students recognize fake news and misinformation, Two, encourage responsible resource use. Not all online content is free. Teaching students about responsible resource use ensures they respect copyright laws and academic integrity. Best practices for resource use include Use open educational resources from platforms like Khan Academy, Coursera, and OpenLearn. Cite and credit sources when using online materials. Encourage originality by using tools like Turnitin to check for plagiarism. 3. Safeguard student data privacy. Handling student data comes with a responsibility to keep it secure and private. Ways to protect student data. Use secure platforms approved by your institution. Avoid sharing personal student data in public online spaces. Educate students about online privacy settings and phishing threats. Follow school or institutional data protection policies, such as GDPR compliance in the UK and EU. 4. Implement online safety protocols. With more online learning comes a greater risk of cyber threats. Setting up safety protocols protects both educators and students. Best practices for online safety. Or use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication where possible. Educate students on cybersecurity risks such as phishing and scams. Monitor and moderate online discussions to ensure respectful and safe interactions. Avoid using personal accounts for professional communication. So, You've started integrating technology into your teaching, but how do you know if it's actually working? We need to track success through key metrics to ensure that technology is making a real impact in vocational education. Let's look at four ways to measure effectiveness. First, student engagement indicators. One of the first signs that technology works is improved student engagement. But how do you measure this? Engagement indicators include active participation, are students interacting more during lessons? Increased collaboration. Are they using discussion boards, group projects, or shared documents? Completion rates. Are more students submitting assignments on time? Attendance and punctuality. Are students more consistent in attending digital or blended lessons? Second, performance tracking. Engagement is great, but it's only valuable if it improves learning outcomes. Tracking student performance helps determine whether tech integration enhances their understanding and skills. Ways to track performance. Before and after comparisons. Compare student test scores before and after introducing a digital tool. Automated assessment analytics. Use tools like Kahoot and Microsoft Forms to analyze quiz performance trends. Skill-based assessments. For practical subjects, observe students applying their skills in real-world tasks or simulations. Third, feedback collection methods. The best way to understand the impact of technology is to ask those who use it your students. Ways to gather feedback. Surveys and polls. Use Google Forms or Mentimeter to collect student opinions on tech tools. One-on-one -on -one check-ins. Have brief discussions with students to understand their experiences. Anonymous feedback. Some students may hesitate to share critiques openly, 
so provide an anonymous option. Teacher observations. Monitor student reactions during lessons. Do they seem more engaged or frustrated? Ask students, did the interactive simulation help you understand the concept better than traditional methods? If most say yes, that's a positive indicator. Fourth, impact assessment. Finally, zoom out and look at the bigger picture. How has tech integration changed your teaching effectiveness and student success over time? Ways to assess impact. Long-term grade trends. Are students performing better across multiple assessments? Retention rates. Are more students completing the course successfully? Teacher workload efficiency. Has technology helped you save time on administrative tasks? Employer feedback. Are graduates better prepared for industry needs due to tech-enhanced learning? We've covered a lot in this session. From the key areas of tech integration to practical steps, safety measures, and ways to track success, technology can transform vocational education when used effectively. Here is a quick recap. Use the right tools, LMS platforms, digital assessments, interactive learning tools, and accessibility features. Implement with purpose. Align tech with learning objectives, create engaging activities, and balance it with hands-on practice. Ensure safety and responsibility, promote digital citizenship, protect student data, and use ethical online practices. Measure success. Track student engagement, performance, feedback, and overall impact. With the right approach, technology can make teaching more efficient, engaging, and impactful for educators and students. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out my website for additional resources and blogs that you might find useful. The link is in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any topic suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments section. See you in the next session.